Hello, welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's taste test where it's just Tim and I, Benson's in the background. There's really not much for him to try this week, so he just said he'll be in the background playing around like he does. And we're trying a few new items and one seasonal item. <laughs> and if you guys are excited for this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get into it. I can tell these animals are excited for these treats because as soon as I got them out, they've all kind of surrounded me. So <laughs> look uh, at we're Orange, gonna... Sunny, Harlow, and Luna. They're all waiting and they all get a treat. So yes, they do. What is this treat, Tim? So these are the freeze freeze dried just chicken for pets treats, and they're for dogs and cats. So they both get to eat the same thing today, which they don't often get to do, so. Orangey's like, give me one. Okay, Orangey, you get that one. Sunny, she loves it. Oh, Harlow, Harlow. trying to steal. <laughs> and Luna, come here. Good girl. Oh, I think everybody, <laughs> everybody's happy. You gave Orangey an extra one? Oh, you're giving them all an extra one. They yeah. love these things. Oh, what a good girl, Luna. Good catch. Oh, <laughs> stepped on Hari's tail. All right, so we are going to start right off the bat with some new egg bites. Um, we have two kinds. We have a kale egg white bite, and then we have a egg and bacon bite. Yes. So obviously, Tim's gonna be trying the bacon one, and both Tim and I can try the egg white kale, so we'll start with that one. You can cut into this one. All right. They're really cute, they're easy. You microwave for 60 seconds, and they come in this little tray. Let me show you. It smells good. It smells comes really in good. this little tray that's like a two-parter. So, yeah, let's try it. Wow. That's really good. That's really good. It's got a lot of flavor to it. I, that's exactly what I was thinking. It has so much flavor. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! I even brought out the crunchy, chi ch um, crunchy chili onion because I was gonna top it with this because I love putting this on my egg, but it doesn't need it. I don't think you need it. If you did want to use it though, it gives a nice crunch to it because mm -hmm. um, this though Maybe has I'll good. Try it. it has good consistency. It's like still fluffy, fluffy yeah. but full and. Totally. Uh, like we said already, the flavor is really good. So uh, definitely, definitely a, a good buy. That's a great new product. I agree. So, so much I agree. And I know you're putting that, that crunchy stuff on there, but I'm gonna try the bacon one. These come with uh, cheddar cheese as well, which is why it has that more of a yellow tint to it. But I'm gonna try this one out and let you know. Okay. Um, it's pretty good. I will say I like that one better. Really? Yeah. I'm shocked. Um, I'm, I'm like, I'm just eating. <laughs> this is my lunch right now. Yeah, I I like this. Well, don't get me wrong. This one's, this one's really good still, but it doesn't have like a really like strong or, or really good like bacon flavor to it mm -hmm. um, or cheese flavor for that matter. Um, it's, it's a, it has that flavor. It just isn't like, wow, that's so good. You know, bacon is delicious, <laughs> um, but this one, it doesn't really highlight on, uh, highlight it on it as much as I would like. Um, and it's pretty good, but that one um, is just it's just exceptional um, for being with kale. Is that what's in yeah. it? Yeah. Like, come on, that's that's really well seasoned. It's got it going on, but this one's still good too. So I'd give that one an A, and this one like a maybe a B plus. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I'm I'm really surprised because I was going into this kind of just thinking it's going to be more bland. It's going to need some flavor added to it to make it taste better, but. Absolutely not. These are fantastic. They are super similar to the Starbucks ones. Um, so if you're looking for a dupe for that, this is a really good one. And they're both $2.99 each. So you're not paying more for like a veggie version or more for a meat version. Um, so that's nice too. So you can really take your pick. And you heard it from Tim. He likes the vegetarian one better. So um, fantastic. Now we're gonna move on to trying some of the water. And we're gonna start with just the pure water. This is the alkaline 8.5 pH. It's from the Rocky Mountains of McKay, Idaho. And it says it's bottled at the source. And it also has a little bit of a list back here, which I thought was interesting. I'm gonna read it really quickly. It says it's naturally occurring minerals and electrolytes. It has 42 
It doesn't say milligrams, but I'm assuming milligrams of calcium, magnesium 6.8, potassium 1, silica 12, bicarbonate 145, chlorides 4.6, TDS 166.8, and pH between 8.1 to 8.5. So that's the milligrams per liter. That's the ratio. Got it, ratio. milligrams per, yeah, yeah, I see that now. So um, this is fun because it comes in a can and it's really cold actually. It's, I refrigerated it so we can taste it for all the glory. Okay, it is shocker clear. <laughs> Yes, we are tasting water this week on our taste test. <laughs> All right. Why not? Taste testing water. My favorite drink. Mm. Now that's some high quality H2O. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> <sighs> Delicious. <laughs> it's smooth, it's easy to drink. There's no weird aftertaste or flavor to it. It's pretty darn clean water and um yeah for those that don't want to be drinking out of plastic it is nice that there's the can option it is very expensive though compared to plastic bottles this one was $1.99 um but you know i still i feel like i'm gonna gravitate towards this i like it it tastes good and it has a lot of good things in it i guess so all I right like so we're gonna move on to my gluten-free breaded shrimp um, I made a few of these here. They look really good. Uh, just put these in the air fryer to get a little bit of crispy on the outside. Let's try them out. Mmm. I like this a lot. These are I great. I heard good things about it. I didn't want to tell you, but yeah, I don't want to convince didn't you. Didn't <laughs> influence me, but these are good. Um, you know, I like having breaded shrimp. Obviously, uh, you, you know, you've got other like raw shrimp that you can, you know, cook on the stove or whatnot. These though, they're just, they just hit different. You know, they, they're really good. Um, I'm, I'm loving these. I Love think these it. are great. You know, gluten-free or not, this is an ops, awesome option. Yeah, they're crunchy? Mm-hmm, a little bit. You could have cooked them a little longer, you think? Um, no, I mean, I like how they are. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So on the package it says you can make like shrimp tacos. Would you, you feel like that would be a good option for those? Absolutely. Good, and I'm glad I, he asked me to make five in the air fryer and I just kind of dumped some out and a couple more got added. So at least you like it. <laughs> and I like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and I like this egg thing. It's really good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Up next, we've got the sparkling water. So this one is the same, I believe it's the exact same brand. Mm -hmm. and it is a sparkling water and on the back it has the calcium 42 to 51 magnesium 1.6 to 6.8 potassium 1.0 to 1.3 silica 7.6 to 12 bicarbonates 98 to 145 tds 152 to 167 and chlorides 4.1 to 4.6 doesn't mean anything to me but might mean something to you guys <laughs> okay nice and sparkling some pretty small bubbles, which is nice. Uh, you're going straight for the can. I have to, this is how I enjoy my sparkling water. This is okay. delicious. Oh my gosh, I love this. Uh, I like it, it's good. Oh my gosh, that tastes good. It tastes like it has something in it, like um. Probably the minerals. Well, if it's the minerals, the minerals are delicious. <laughs> I really like this. I love sparkling water. Um, some of them are better than others. This one, I feel like I really like. It definitely has a flavor to it, so it's different than just a plain old run-of-the-mill sparkling water. It has something more to it, and it might be, like Tim said, the minerals. Um, so, so good. I love this. I'm gonna be buying more of this. This is gonna be my new go-to sparkling. <laughs> you know, it might be weird to taste test water, but this one does just have a little something extra where, you know, so often I'll, I'll go into the fridge and I'll get water and it's okay, it's water, whatever. But this, if I were to reach in and grab, it would actually have, you know, that different texture with the bubbles. It makes it feel like I'm having something like, not just plain water. So uh, I like these, these are good. And obviously cold water, what's better? Exactly. Um, I know what's better. This. <laughs> this is so, these are so good. This is the key lime kettle corn. Oh, you know. Mm. I've forgotten how good these were. You did? Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> they have like. Oh, they're so good. What does this remind me of? 
Fruit Loop again. Fruit Loops, yeah. Trader yeah, Joe's loves to make Fruit Loopy mm -hmm. kettle corn. Mm -hmm. All right, so while Tim and I are chowing down on the bag, don't mind if I do. While you guys have your pen and paper out, make sure you put these on your list. That's all I have to say. I agree. Actually, everything we tried, put on your list. Everything was great. You know, these really do taste like key lime pie, though. It's not just Fruit Loops. Like, that tastes like key lime pie. It's like that yeah. sweetness to it that's just, mmm, mmm, it's good. It is good. It's too good. <laughs> all right, I gotta do the outro. I can't have to stop eating. I have a couple more. <laughs> all right, guys, that is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we definitely enjoyed all the food and new offerings at Trader Joe's. If you need some new water to try, just check out to your local Trader Joe's and pick up these two waters. They are both delicious. The kettle popcorn, pff, done deal. The eggs, yeah, really good. So. The shrimp too. I everything. Love the shrimp. Everything was fantastic this week. So it makes your life easy. You can just go pick up anything and know it's gonna be good, at least according to us. Um, but having said that, I hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend. We are going out of town, so we will not be around. But if you want to see us still, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna be posting lots of videos, photos, and lots of family fun that we'll be having, hopefully. And so that's it for this week's video. Check out next week's video because it's going to be a different style, but still a haul. So I'm not going to let you guys down. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.